So I've been talking about this drill far too much. What we need to do is put this to the wood and see how it does on more of a real life situation. So this is a piece of six quarter hard maple that I actually used for some of the sander demos and the routing demo. And we'll put some holes in there, drive some screws. I do have that 3 8 inch drill bit. We're gonna drill a 3 8 inch hole. It does have the hex driver head, so it will fit in the CXS. I'm gonna do it with the CXS, both with the CXS and the C12. So you can see a little how they both perform if one stalls out, but the other one doesn't. It gives you an idea, more real life terms, what that torque difference is. And then we're gonna drive uh, a large lag bolt. This one here, I happen to have a quarter inch hex driver for it, so we'll use that to drive it through. Now for pre-drilling the hole, I'm just gonna use the, the regular three millimeter uh, Centrotec bit there. That's actually still pretty small for a lead hole for this lag bolt, so it'll put some pretty good torque on the drill. Then we're going to drive a couple long wood screws. Now these happen to be Robertson drive screws, so this will be a chance to show how the little mini driver bits fit into the end of the drive shaft. And uh, I'd also like to do at least a couple of these using the right angle chuck so you can see how it gets used and how you can directly put the bits in there. And then to finish it off, we'll just drill a couple of really big holes. Just kidding. Okay, first up we're going to drill the 3 8 inch hole. This is a hex driver head. It happens that it does fit in my CXS directly in the drive shaft. It does not on my C12, so we'll use the Jacobs chuck for that, but put this in speed two and just try pounding through it. All right, that was pretty easy. Let's try another one. Now, I'm not going for uh, smoothness here. I'm just pushing as hard as I can to get it to go through as fast as I can. Uh, both of those times, it went through just beautifully. So let's... Uh, Obviously, I don't think the C12 is going to have any issue at all with this, but we're going to try. Admittedly, the C12 went through a little faster than the CXS. Next up, I want to drive this lag bolt. So for that, I'm going to pre-drill. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll pre-drill four holes, you know, two each, using each of these different... We don't need to put the central tech for this. We'll just do it raw. Let me get a little further away. I don't want the wood splitting when that uh, lag bolt goes through. And... Although I guess with the Central Tech chuck, it would have come out on its own. Let me go ahead and spin that, put that in. case this bit here is loading up. This one here actually had extremely good chip clearance. That's actually why I'm really liking these uh, Montana bit, not Montana tool bits. Okay, let's just uh, switch this over to the C12. this lag bolt. That's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> See how it's going to do with this head. This might actually be too hard for it to do, so we might have to switch to making a bigger pilot hole, but we'll give it a try first. I'm not going to give up before we give that a go. So put this in speed one. We're not going to want to go plow through this. So what it's doing is it's stopping on me because it's overloading the motor to be able to drive that any further. But that's still pretty far for a lag bolt going in. If It's hard for you to see, but the difference in size between this, this is easily half the size of what it should be for the pilot hole for this um, lag bolt. Whoa. So actually, I'm surprised it went that far. <laughs> that was a little bit of a rough test. So let's see how this one does. Here it does. I'm not sure if this uh, fits in there. This one here happens to fit. Let's see how this one does. Speed one. Don't want to go plow through this. Tell me that's not impressive. That's all the way through. It just pushed this lag bolt all the way through. So I'm very impressed with that. 
In fact, uh, this maple is starting to mushroom up around here as all the excess is getting pushed somewhere. There's a pretty good mushroom down on the, out on the bottom, and it's really hot. <laughs> so, okay, you have more muscle for this if you're trying to drive lag bolts and improperly pre-drilled holes. So up next, I want to run these wood screws in. I'm going to take these other holes that haven't been used yet on the lag bolt test, and we're going to run those through. This is more the appropriate size for this wood screw, so I don't really expect much of a difficulty, but we'll just run it through to see how it goes. Put this on the Robertson Drive 2, directly on the shaft. Alright, it uh, didn't really care. You can see that the speed one is still faster. It feels faster on uh, the C12. It is actually supposed to be faster. It's 450 RPM, whereas this is 400 RPM. But I didn't think that that was going to make that much of a visual difference. But you can feel a little bit of a difference as you're doing the drive. So just to quickly finish up, I wanted to do a little bit of work using the right angle chuck. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drill the large 3 8 inch holes using the right angle chuck on both drills, just because it's going to be a little bit of a, a more difficult task to do than uh, doing it straight. Again, this one here pushes on. You kind of align it, and then as you lock it in with the Centrotech portion of the, of the head, it'll capture into that tooth that's down below. Let me, oops, I rotated it while I put it on. So first we'll use the CXS. I mean, you can see how, because this doesn't require my hand to hold it in place, I can pretty much just plant it here and drill. Uh, let's uh, put this in more reasonable drilling speed. near the end I started getting some shakes as it was trying to come out but otherwise that was pretty easy to do one-handed just giving it enough pressure to get the hole to go through of course this is going to be likely even easier on the C12 Whoop, this one barely fits in that chuck so we'll see how this goes I might need to put the Centro Tech chuck on speed 2 No problemo. Now as another demonstration, we can really quickly just drive these wood screws in using the right angle chuck with the small driver bit in there. So you have very, very short access to the... Set this back to speed one. That's mostly me popping out of it. switch that over and do clearly that had no problem <clears throat> now I'm hoping this introductory video gave you a chance to see how the CXS could fit in your shop or in your job site work it's a little bit it's not quite as strong as the C12 it's not quite as torquey but as you can see it was handling some pretty large hole sizes anyway. Now if you're trying to do some holes in masonry or doing any large framing with lag bolts and such, the C12 is a better drill driver than say the CXS, but then in all honesty the T15 would even be better. So in the realm of the things that the C12 can do for you, I think the CXS actually could handle about 90 to 95 percent of the same work while coming in at a lighter form factor, a lot easier to handle. It's got the cool little light, got the cool little belt hook, so it's a little bit nicer. It also comes in a little bit cheaper too. So it's a, it's a bit of a win-win for everything.